It seems like they're going to step down again, even, Valerie, as financial conditions loosen up to the most in a year. All right, Matt, yes, but the key focus will be on this statement in the opening statement. What is he going to do with this line? Ongoing increases are needed in the target rate. Does that line stay there, or is it perhaps am amended? Does it perhaps... Uh, show some evolution that the Fed funds rate is now approaching the peak rate, or could it be dropped entirely? If it is dropped entirely, a lot of the market does expect some sort of pushback on those rate cuts that you mentioned. Perhaps he adds a line in here that gives some extended forward guidance that they plan to keep rates sufficiently restrictive. But for the hawkish and dovish hits, it's all going to be about his assessment of the moderation of inflation. For a hawkish hit, he's going to have to keep the, the hope that a May hike is still alive. He'd do this by almost dismissing the recent drop of inflation, saying he almost doesn't believe it because the unemployment rate hasn't ticked higher. The labor market is still strong, which means which means inflation is likely, unlikely to fall back to 2%. And he could repeat that the Fed has a way to go. But if it's a dovish hit, he'd definitely have to leave the door open for the Fed to pause in March. He could do this by acknowledging that inflation, that the trend downwards is welcome, and that rates are already approaching sufficiently restrictive, and he declared that we are data dependent, not necessarily declaring victory on inflation yet, Matt, but that would open the door to the market to believe that a pause in March is on the cards.